Hello and welcome to the Girl Code Podcast, a podcast where we journey through life and talk about the experiences of ordinary people and how they manage to do ex- extraordinary things in life. Today on set, we have Laura once again. Um, you know, <laughs> before you introduce yourself, I'm waiting for you to introduce me. You're waiting for me to introduce you? Yes. You know, I look at you and I remember uni, like it's uni all over again. Like you can introduce yourself first. Oh, which we do we'll back this to. Way. <laughs> okay. Um, hi, uh, my name is Laura uh, from Coming Home to Me podcast, and I'm honored, honored, yeah, honored, honored, honored to be here again today on set with Nyanduko. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here again. Karibu. Like I said last time, like it's very hard to to do this with you to introduce you because fam, I've known you for years. And and every time I meet you, it's motion. So right now it's, it's content. It's, it's, no, it's still motion. Motion, but motion with facts. Oh wow. Okay. So like I said, it's ordinary people doing extraordinary things, or extraordinary things done by ordinary people. We're just people, right? Yeah. And like when I look at you right now, the things you've been able to achieve. Not that it's much. <laughs> Father Lord. But, <laughs> but the things you've been able to achieve since uni, like I'm amazed because. When I first met you in that literature class, eh? You Classes. looked you looked you looked like you cannot take a challenge from life, Yani. Ulkunakaulemsewa for me I'm going home. If this fails, I'm going home. Like, I can't do this. The fact that you actually, you know, went through uni, finished with a whole ass pregnancy katikati and still finished uni still amazes me. I should have dropped out. You <laughs> you look like the person who would have just said, I if I'm 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 out of this. So, so after uni, eh? Mm-hmm. After uni. Uh-huh. Uh, after uni. Where were we? After uni, I was very really pregnant, man. I was very much pregnant. And I wish, I wish we had some sort of uh, different curriculum uh-huh. whereby uh, we go for attachment and then we come back to finish uh, uh-huh. like the remaining semester. Uh-huh. Of which, Mimi, I was, I was, I was, I was for the idea whereby you just finish all the four semesters, uh, not for all your four years, and then you go for attachment, you know. As you go. Eh, as you go, mm-hmm. because they're going to advantage to appear because I know people who got retained when you were in attachment. That's, that's not what happened? We went back to school after internship? No, I'm saying that is what happened, oh, okay. and I was in agreement b- before I got pregnant, of course. But now I'm pregnant, and then I'm like, eh, I wish I had more money share in that, actually. Mm-hmm. You get? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a whole going for attachment. White yeah. page thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, but did, they, how did you handle it? <laughs> um, it? It was smooth. It was, I can say most of it, like 90 or 80% was smooth because um, Sikukuan are very weird cravings. I mean, you were part of it, like hey. the first trimester. It was just Managu. Let me Come tell on. you. <laughs> It depends with how you put your mind. <laughs> it was just managu, but I mean, okay, sawa. When you look at the saw, but managu kupatikana ni gumu kidogo. But then, cash crops and that one is And then you over there every Monday morning. Me na taka managu na matumbo. You go na fa kutole abu managu na matumbo. And to think that I don't eat matumbo squeeze. Am I do? Okay, anyway, I still. But pregnancy. I'll tell you yeah. one day of a story of someone who used to eat uji na maembe. So just say me me. That's a very weird combo. But I remember, nilikuanga, tukiwa class, kila siku niko zile za, eh, eh, tunatoka sangapi, nifike jama, nichukue nini, nichukue Cake. ice cream, cake, na, na nini, na mala. Na mm. mala, sweet mala. Eh, hey, I used to love mala, nikiwa mm-hmm. na bond. But anyway, uh, me, thank God, because siku kwa na zile, you know, there are people who, who have that, Serious morning sickness, like the puking and stuff. Me, you were right. I, I was fine. I was fine the whole time. You would actually amka before me most times, like umechanga amka umeonga. You've done your makeup over there and your kitambi. <laughs> the kitambi bit was funny. You know, I, I have always been tiny, and then password. I have a katami like this. But we didn't adopt. You knew how to dress it. Yeah, yeah. Kuva mango kuba. But you didn't decide. What you ingi? Most people did not believe when I was around. You remember when you were six months pregnant? To lenda, to lenda jama. I think was it when we out? To lenda jama ama out. To lenda jama kuanza ni kule keki. No to end out. You were just in a hoodie. As, as no one would tell you <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the only challenge they like when I was a ball, um, I think this is the second semester to Kirudi, not to Malaysia, to India, to show, it was, it was too isolated. 
sa zingine ni, ni, i think mostly ushaji judge like i am different mm, i am different from my my peers or my colleagues with yeah evidence of sex <laughs> that and, <laughs> and, and, and I, i think i sick way date within kole so and then because most probably my friends are going to ask uh, oh yeah, is, didn't. yeah i did it i was thinking about <laughs> it sick way date mtu within campo but i had a fling in first year with a fourth year story for another day do i know so, this fourth year <laughs> No you don't you you never But you there's a thing you've never agreed you had. We'll talk about that once some other day. No you can't keep accusing me of flings. But he said you did. Fling. He said you said okay. Listen And you were mad me, about his power bag. <laughs> no that's when we never send any gun <laughs> baby. We never send any gun. That's the so true story. Yeah um the 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 whatever the the period in to like your semester it was it was mimi kuji kuji isolate kind of i felt different man niko na kitambia hapa and then people will always talk but nothing prepares you for that for pregnancy uh, how it's going to be like so um the cravings bit it was okay and then sasa sisi tumetoka tumeenda tacho lakini nilisha hizo cravings what it's been chicken but eh yeah. <laughs> They call it the the bottom up is bottom in family strength. Eh 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 kama sai bado sija hack alafu tena bibi namba 2 and his uh, attachment was was also smooth. Mm-hmm. Nilipata a school in Nyamira. Mm-hmm. Nyamira si very far from home. Mm-hmm. So at a weekend ningetoka niende home. Ama napigia ndugu yangu mwenye na miss you singi vibaya sana hii town. I'm sure eh hey, nikujie ana nikujie. Uh, so yeah uh, during tp nili usually nilienda kuna madam nilipata okay. she was really nice and even the entire department i think the english department niko nenda niko ofisi and then i feel ugh, niko dizzy like the, the the biggest challenge i had ni usingizi yeah, yeah. niko hivi kwa ofisi na sundoka kidogo nasikia tu kulala 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 so the the hod was understanding he was a guy mm-hmm. and then he was, he was like um Madam, you don't have to go to class today if you don't feel like if you don't feel Aww. like going to class. We can cover that for you. Beba virago vyangu kwa nyumba na lala. Na na lala. And then uh shule ilikuwa na to provide your meals. So oh. uh, yeah, they were providing us if with I meals. If I tell you about my TP. <laughs> Wewe mbona ulienda shaka hola shaka shaka. Ya mimi eh kwa shaka hola. Shaka. Na nimela bali nidanganya. Mlienda west hadi. Sasa kwenda na nimi alinika. Oh baby, kakalikuja kisi. I remember actually she was in a neighboring school. Mm. Eh hey, atito, atito we miss you. We should should have atito as soon for happy of it. Okay. Anyway, eh. so uh you you should ilikuwa 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 nzuri sana. They even had cows like cows the shoes na kamliwa. So there is plenty of milk in school mm-hmm. and then food mamboga kuna shamba ya shule so they cook all these things and then they bring wana leta wana niletea melala tu hivi knock knock kufungua tumekuletea food kidogo kidogo maziwa kidogo kidogo uji kwa dhamu siji nilichungwa hiyo shule vizuri and then ikafanywa assessment 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 the first time after that assessment tukenda i think mid term break tukenda home uh, kurudi hata sikumaliza one week Uh, before my edd and then uh, i think nilarakisha nilikuwa anxious like three days to mimi nisha panic nataka kwenda hosi ku deliver mm, yeah 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 so uh, i think nilifika point nikachoka nikachukua kutembea na kuka kitambi like it was not that big i was small at a picture, picture i have a photo i think i have a photo when i was uh, a week to giving birth mm-hmm. and i don't look big mm-hmm. siku add weight i think i was still 50 50 something ukijangalia anga uonangi kama your big but watu wengine wakikuangalia so so okay <laughs> i'm not trying to say you ni, nikiwa na ball nili, nilikuwa mkubwa mm. okay you even got ask kidogo here and there na kuanga na ask msisikize ode na kuanga na ntaonyesha siku moja nataka <laughs> nivunjike <laughs> uh-huh. eh his uh, so ikafika ikafika your time nilikuwa nilikuwa na umuhimu hata ikuwa serious me mm. ndo what is with uh, pregnancy is a squeezy like even labor most people like 90% of the people when you to look your word you have to be induced anyway uh, back to how i got to the hospital i think i just called home yeah i always call my brother 
Siji 3 a.m. It's good to know like you have family you can count Ay, on. My brother yake amekuanga. Nikivunjwa roho Max. Nikifanywa sijui nini Max. Everything Max. Una misuse. Na he I owe that one ngombe ya maziwa. Mhm. So yeah. Yeah. So uh he came nikam call 3 a.m. Za so, eh uko sawa? Mbe ah sisiki vile nasikia. He didn't lean. Then you waiting na you wait. Yeah. You can take Abuya <laughs> from the village. You cannot take the village out of her. <laughs> Whatever that means. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so uh, you didn't get it. <laughs> he came, I got it. Trust me. <laughs> so he came. He came to get me from school, uh-huh. and then we went. So I can admit. So what happened? Oni lifika ni kanza kuwa traumatized. Unenge ivi. Mama kubwa like a grown female is crying. Pain, pain high respect age. Hey, ni ni kidogo. Max what's going on? Bona analia. Akaniambia <laughs> that will be you in the next few hours. Wow. Hey, my wow, Max, you did a good job. Na alikuwa anasema akicheka. But then uh, I, I got in the first nurse refused to to examine me because me refused to open my leg. Oh, that that is that mission. Yeah. Me refused. And then akasema wewe utajitafutia nurse mwenye atakushughulikia. But she left. She left me to do to whatever to to just find my nurse. Find no, your own. Yes, find your. Good thing ni kulikuwa na interns. Interns were kwa poke tarish. Nilikuwa tu hapa tarish. And then they came. They were nice, you know. Ukiwa atacho you like you give it your a game they were nice so there were like five guys and moja wa pep talk mwingine what do you do nini nini wa ku distract anyway uh, kufika tena hiyo pain ikapotea i think that was on wednesday wednesday eh. kesho yake thursday asubuhi nikalala hosi thursday niko niko hosi bado adi daktari mwenye alikuwa anafanya whatever patrol akuja eh uko hapa ujaza bado <laughs> that question <laughs> like uno mbona ulikuja hosi kama mimi niliuma na uja deliver tangu jana nikamwambia eh sana sana na kuja kukuangalia hakukuja how interns ndo walikuja bado sasa mm-hmm. the, the, the flip side ya kushughulikiwa si semi interns don't know their job mm-hmm. but uh, i think they somehow i had to be induced because i was not in labor and i'm supposed ishafika siku ya kudeliver mm-hmm. like a few hours too mm-hmm. so an intern came kunyekea hiyo whatever yo, yo, unekewa pill either unekewa drip yenye i don't know what they put inside mm-hmm. but i figured it's very painful because everyone who had it like this they were really struggling me i say no i can't go for that you can't cover my nose nikiona kuna like, option ya pill they said okay ule hospital na ulikuwa unajua kitu unataka eh we me hizo za kufunikwa hapana so the intern akanyekea hiyo pill it's it's a inatoshana like this and then when i go into four and then kama moja ndo kana unimekewa na kana kufanya ile kitu then you push nikekewa pill sa uh, Thursday sa 8 eh sa sita hapo hivyo kumbe intern hakufikisha kwenye nafasi ifike eh kusukuma ndani that, that so, process is so uncomfortable it's, uh, it's more uncomfortable than when you are getting pregnant <laughs> just know it's uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> it's uncomfortable like getting uh, that pill yeah, over yeah, there I get it. and then um, Six hours later bado sija deliver na nimeinduciwa mm-hmm. i think nilianza ku feel hizo labor pains uh, for some time and then zika zika shuka eh mm-hmm. apparently hiyo kitu ni, ni, ni kwenye inafaa kufika haikufika so the dog sasa mwenye alikuwa amepita moni anakuja tena eh ni 6 pm what happened sasa hiyo 6 pm ni visiting hours my sister in law amekuja my mom i think my brother my brother is in the job so my sister in law came and my mom and i think another friend mm-hmm. i don't remember So wali kwa hapo akaniletea food nimekula niko hapo na natafuna tafuna tu snacks na kula fruits niko na fruits hizo zilikuwa zinapita chakula sponsor ka food na mbona you need this food mbona no haiwezi so um hiyo 6 pm ndo daktari anasema bado bado uliinduciwa eh ai ni kama utenda kufanywa whatever utenda si yes oh, oh. sasa hapo sasa nikasikia ni, ni, ni nitoroke by the at some point nikiwa hapo kwa hiyo ward ni feel nitoke hivi niruke ni ruke tu atani anke kwa street because of pain. Mimi hata sijui kumbe kuna hadi watchman kwa ward my friend. The poor run away. Yeah. Sasa so, honestly unatoroka unaenda wapi? Si unaenda tu unaenda kuzalisha na uko nje peke yako. Of course ndo maana kuna watchman hapo because huwezi decide. But nilikuwa na hiyo moment ya I just want to walk out 
niende ni ruki hata niingie kwa street because it was very painful so doka akakuja akasema twende tukende hiyo room nyingine ya i think it's a theater or something tukend i was so scared and then my sister had to come in too my sister lo mm-hmm. she was there the whole time and then uh nikakataa kufungua mguu tena because sasa nisha nisha anza kutenga kufungua mguu ndio utaki spend is mm-hmm. why mbona mnanipanga mbona ulifungua gas kwa kwa you know i hate the fact that you know <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. The actual act to see kuona lakini every the dates I have them. Shindo. So daktari akasema itabidi umefungua mguu ama tunaenda theater saa hii. Kusikia theater. Kajipanga tu pale. <laughs> and then the, 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 the doctor the thing then okay and then nikarudi sana nikitoka hapo ndani nimevaa dera. Sasa imagine me in a dera. A very big dera oh, black one na fiku coach. Then I'm ten nikakuja Uh, ni ni kaen kaka hapo kwa bed and then wakawafukuza kiti areta apparently uchungi mtu i wish i knew by the way i wish i knew oh, like ulikuwa hosi hapa tu eh kiti areta why did i assume ulikuwa hosi huko mali ulikuwa tipi hapana si max ali nikujia okay max ali nikujia no 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 it was kiti areta so hospitali yenye ilikuwa hapo karibu eh singe trust like unajua kuna ile kuzoea hospitali yeah. specific okay. so nilikuwa hapa tukiitia rest the one thing i wish i knew at that moment is that my linda mama could work even in a private hospital oh yeah it works you can use your linda mama in a private hospital i came to realize that later so but i'm told like mm-hmm. public hospitals are the best for delivery they are but not entirely i am not trying to trash to trash talk our hospitals but kuna kwanga na crowd sometimes oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so imagine you are sharing a bed with sharing a what Trust me I saw it. You're sharing a bed with someone and then someone's water breaks before yours breaks. So that means there's going pregnant people sharing a bed. Honey. Wow. Honey. That is that is I think that is one thing that traumatized me. Well okay then that is not nice. Yeah, it's it's not nice. Well, But then now they have to accommodate all these people the beds mm-hmm. are I think they don't need. have enough facilities. They, they, there is but people ni wengi pia okay. sasa wa kujeliba so I because it's I don't know. borderline it's close to ch- nini free. Ni, yeah, sort of so nilikuwa hapo and then hiyo ndio kitu tu ile ni bother na kitu kingine ile ni bother the fact that you know unlike uh, private units ama private wings mtu anaweza kuchunga the whole time hapa mm-hmm. hakuna mtu because anyway there is no room for an extra person so me my people left my mom went oh, yeah. went home so just alone. i was alone but then they, there was like a girl they sort of delegated who is a friend to a family friend bia of huyo mwangaleni ni nini nene she was from within so them they went aki sasa nikaanza ku overthink guy even they want kufa bila my people oh, yeah. because i'm laboring and it's night and hakuna mtu and hakuna kitu mbaya kama kulaba usiku ilikuwa around the staff most of them are not even there wako wameenda kulala wametoka oh, wow. it was around 2 am so wameenda my water broke kama niko hapo somehow eh somehow but before that eh nilifanya masoma like i was rolling mm-hmm. na roll na anguka kutoka kwa nini kwa bed and then na ukotwa na rudisho kwa bed like it was so painful it would, i can't like pain inaanza kidogo kidogo unasikia sharp pain and then nakupatia one minute tena inarudi okay na zanga na five minutes and then inarudi three, two, one, and then there's no that room for so no like in between hizo hiyo five when it was five minutes mm-hmm. ilikuwa ikistop na lala <laughs> <laughs> eh hey, people do sleep alafu <laughs> did you realize you don't cry like machozi tokangi hata one hakuna, drop of tea me thought hey, I'm a, I'm a, hey what's happening because mimi i know nikona machozi yeah. Yeah, yeah that was that was strange to me so before before my water broke ene likipitia because nilifika home niko na pain na shanga why do i feel it kumbe ni kuanguka i i nilikuwa na anguka no one like grabbing your back nothing it's a public hospital hakuna mtu mwenye anafaa kukuchunga hapo my friend <laughs> that was hell that was hell but this then kama ni say address what i went through um, i think i'm openly talking about it today that's very for the first Time, like the details especially oh, yeah. the details so i was falling bana na anguka kutoka kwa kitanda by then my water broke i think my jacket is going break if you are about to need and people don't appreciate how hard childbirth is like people don't fully comprehend <laughs> how hard it is to successfully I, being I, a human being i know it's, it's 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 
it's it's just I can't even explain it's it. It's a miracle. Yeah, it's a miracle. Mm-hmm. I remember actually Nikinge vi hospital, we met some guy apo kwa parking lot ya Hosi. He was walking like a drunkard. Like I don't like using that. I don't know why. Murev. <laughs> like he was walking like someone who's was not. Yeah, he was staggering. Mm-hmm. And then me I ask my brother, "Kwani what's wrong with him?" Then tunasonga hivi mbele, tunapata watu wengine tena wakilialia hapo akasema, "Ati this guy lost his wife and the baby in the And remember I am going there. Huko ndo ninaenda na hii ndo story nakutana nayo ya kwa hospitals. I was like so kuna kuna, kuna chances za kudai huko ndani. That actually I, every time I, you get I, into that labor ward there's a there's a chance of death there's a chance of, death. A chance of death and then there's i remember no that same night nilikuwa hapo hiyo time nikipush there was like a girl who was right opposite opposite opposite, opposite the other Got end the other end mm-hmm. uh akisi jua ata describe aje bila ku i hate graphic. i i hate sounding insensitive alikuwa hayu ni kama hayuko sawa 100% mm-hmm. like she had mm-hmm. a mental disorder i hope that is not true when i put it like that that's fine yeah so and then when, when she scream when i'm shot like ah when nyamanza ni nini what of skew chungu like how Don't do you, you know, know she's not feeling pain it bothered me but then There's nothing I could do I was as well helpless. So ikafika point in my water me break then nakwambia nilijipanga mwenyewe nilipanda kwa kitanda nikakivi there's no nurse ulikuwa hutaki kufungua eh there's no nurse I was alone nilika and apparently you're supposed to sit like this and then you hold your your knees sorry what you're supposed to what? you're supposed to hold your knees so that you sit how no you're not seated see you're lying on your back when you're supposed to push. Oh. Yeah. So that is when when I when I when I, just, when I was just there lying like this. I think someone another patient, another you know mom from the other end mm-hmm. akasema, "It any nurses was I deal with you." Oh yeah. Eh. Ulikuwa ready ngo umesema tuende nalo. Nimekaa hivi nimefungua mguu my friend. I I felt so naked. Gosh. 